get ready. Islands of Adventure's food options can be great. Like a lot of theme parks though, there's a few hit or miss options. Universal Orlando Resort has never really been known for its food. So we wanted to save you the disappointment by listing our favorite places to grab a fast meal in the park. Quick service restaurants are a cornerstone of the theme park dining experience. They're usually the fastest and cheapest way to eat. This park has a few gems, so make sure to pick one from this list on your next visit. In today's video, we'll be counting down the best of Islands of Adventure's food, quick service style. But before we tell you where to eat, give this video a like if we've helped you narrow down your dining options for your next trip, and consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Anyway, let's find something for you to eat. Get ready. Number five, Doc Sugru's Desert Kebab House. The delicious aroma coming from Doc Sugru's Desert Kebab House is enough to warrant a spot on our list. This Mediterranean inspired grill serves up a great range of kebabs and salads with a good variety of vegetarian options too. There's also some smaller bites with things like fruit cups, hummus and pretzels available. This is a great place to grab a bite to eat if you're looking for something on the fresher side of things. It's definitely one of the healthier options when it comes to Islands of Adventure food. The only thing to consider though is that there is only outdoor seating available. This may be an issue if you're looking for somewhere to cool off, but it's a good option for something to eat while on the move during a busy day in the park. Considering the menu is different from what you'd expect in a theme park, it comes in at our number five spot. Number four, Croissant Moon Bakery. Croissant Moon Bakery really is the epitome of quick service. The restaurant is a great place to grab some breakfast or a snack as you go about your day. With its European vibe, this eatery specializes in sandwiches, pastries, and various treats. As well as serving some of the best food in the park, this restaurant is also a great place to take a load off. You can also relax and do some people watching as it's located very close to the entrance of the park. Take a slow morning and see people filter into the park as you sip on some coffee. When it comes to value for money, Croissant Moon Bakery checks this box too. All breakfast options come in at under $10, which really isn't that bad for a theme park. This is also the perfect spot to beat the midday slump too. Packed with sugary treats and coffee, you'll be running towards the Marvel Superhero Island to take a ride on the Incredible Hulk coaster. Number three, Fire Eater's Grill. If you find yourself hungry while looking at all the different stalls in the Lost Continent, we recommend checking out Fire Eater's Grill. Located just opposite Poseidon's Fury, this popular eatery has a menu with items that you might not find in other parks. Grilled gyros and falafels are among the delicious options available. This is another example of the wide array of Islands of Adventure food to choose from. Theme park food doesn't always just have to rely on pizza and burgers. Again, we will have to point out that this restaurant only has outdoor seating. This means on a really hot day, you might find it hard to palate some of the more spicier options. But then again, it might not be a problem if you like a bit of spice. Considering the distinctive menu, Fire Eater's Grill definitely deserves a spot on our list. Number two, Thunder Falls Terrace. Located inside Jurassic Park, Thunder Falls Terrace is a great quick service restaurant for starving adventurers. With a really varied menu full of meats, rice bowls, salads, and lots more, there really is something for everyone. Compared to the other Islands of Adventure options on this list, it's a little bit more expensive. However, the quality of the food is a step up from the previously listed quick service restaurants. As well as offering smoky BBQ classics, they also have a choice of desserts if you have a bit of a sweet tooth. One of the biggest selling points of Thunder Falls Terrace is its huge air conditioned dining room. This means you can escape the Orlando sun while you enjoy your meal. And as seen previously, you may need to sacrifice indoor seating for good food but this place actually offers both. You can also take a window seat and watch people get soaked on Jurassic Park River Adventure. What more could you ask for? Number one, three broomsticks. If you're a Harry Potter fan, you're going to love three broomsticks even just for the aesthetic purposes alone. This might just be our favorite Island of Adventure food location out of them all, not even just quick service. Located in Hogsmeade, this restaurant models itself on classic British cuisine with a magical touch. 
The varied menus also serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This means any time is a good time to visit when you're hungry. But it might be best to save this for after you've ridden Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Overall, we love Three Broomsticks not only based on the impeccable theming, but also the quality and freshness of food. It might also be the best overall value for money too. The menu is also full of tasty options that are relatively healthy, such as rotisserie chicken and shepherd's pie. These are also listed at a price point that is fair for theme park food. All in all, the food is good, the price is right, and the indoor seating and theming make for a great dining experience. Three Broomsticks is a worthy number one spot as the best quick service restaurant in Islands of Adventure. If you're looking for something a little bit more classy during your Universal Orlando trip, check out our video on the best table service restaurants inside both parks. A link to that will be on screen now. Where's your favourite spot to grab a quick lunch in Islands of Adventure? Leave a comment down below and let us know. And now you're ready.